What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's video, we're going to take a look at one of the most uh, simplest, most underrated tips in Man 25. This is uh, this is actually going to be for our advanced tip because I didn't actually know this until last season. This is really more of a, a tip that you would use in, in live tournaments or live streaming or something like that. This is how to hide your play call. Whatever, If you want to call a play, it applies to offense and defense. And you don't want your opponent to see it. This is how you do it. So we're going to cycle through here. And we're just going to call a random play on defense. But dice slot, shotgun. So if I want to call this X under. But I don't want my opponent to see that. Because if he sees my play sheet here, he's going to have an idea. Well, he could be an X under, quick base, or PA read. Well, what if I do this? What you're going to do is you're going to hit X for X under. But you're not going to just, you're going to hold X down. And watch what happens. It doesn't call the play. So I can still cycle through. As you see, so that you often see this in tournaments where people are just continually psyching through. And check this out. I'm an X under. And you see that that's a really uh, a unique little uh, idea here of how to... It, it's a nice little trait that man puts in the game for guys that play more advanced level. Now, obviously, you could do this. Uh, what I like to do... And, and you say, well, what, what happens like if you stop over it? So, like, I stop over X under. Well, check this out. So, what you could do is... If you wanted to call X under, you could show them that you're in curl slot shake. And then quickly make sure that you're doing this. You're going to go down one and then hold X. So you know the player sheet. So down one, hold X, and then do your little trick. And bam, you're still in X under. A uh, very effective play that you can use. So that is how, that's a very quick tip. Very simple. But it's very easy to expand on. It's, it's very helpful, in my opinion, for live tournaments and stuff like that. So, like, for example, if you wanted to, like, mess with your opponent, come out in goal line. Well, they know that you want to, you know, this is a, these three plays here are probably the most common plays in the goal line. Well, what we want to do is we want to come out in our fullback dive because that's going to, if they run commit and they're trying to stop QB sneak, the fullback dive will actually be open. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll sit in QB sneak, and then we're going to go up one, to fullback dive, and then we're going to go back to QB Sneak. So watch this. And we're going to look for QB Sneak. We find QB Sneak. Then we go. And what happens is, they think we're in QB Sneak. They're going to run commit, show blitz, try to stop the QB Sneak. Blitz house. And the fullback dive is just going to get us that one yard we need. So you see how you, how easy it is to transition on this play, on this idea here of what you can do to change your opponent's mind on what play call you're actually doing. And this is something, in my opinion, that's very underrated because you that way they'll never know what what you're actually running but obviously you want to still guard your, make, make sure you're practicing this so you don't accidentally call the wrong play thank you guys so much for your time this week it was a quick advanced tip this week uh, but i think it's one of the most i think it's one of the most uh, valuable ones especially for advanced tournament players thank you so much for your time i hope that this tip can help you in some way shape or form and please give me some feedback on what uh, you guys have thought of my tips lately have you liked them have they declined uh whatever you need let me know and let me know of some plays that you're having problems with hopefully i can get you uh, some videos on how to stop that thank you so much for your time and be sure to come back tomorrow for another great man 25 weekly video